two quick things. What was the cost of that Band-Aid? Uh, several Ted Metzgers said, okay, that's an amazing thing. It's like a disposable cell phone yeah. almost, only it's a disposable complete EKG and wireless. Yeah, exactly. What's the cost? It costs you, to make this, it costs about 20 US dollars. $20, yeah, you yeah, can take yeah, the hospital yeah, home with you. Yeah, Readmissions yeah, in hospitals yeah, are a giant yeah, cost factor, yeah, yeah. an extraordinary issue. Yeah. It's, that's a big deal we're looking at there, ladies and gentlemen. That is not a, that's not a small thing there. Okay, so I just, you know, I, I've been to Chris's lab in Imperial College where it was confirmed that I am not one of these. Um, <laughs> but, and so I've seen it firsthand. But there is a piece of this puzzle that you didn't talk about, and I think it's worth sharing very much with the TED Med community. You know, tell us okay. how you okay. got involved in this here, because that's a story. Okay, very story. briefly. Well, about 10 years ago, my nine-year-old son had kidney failure. Both his kidneys packed up. And um, so we had him on home dialysis for three years. So effectively, what I mean by that is not just plugging in a machine and saying, Marcus, you're okay. 12 hours on a machine, seven days a week for three and a half years. Now, imagine chronic disease management in your home setting. If you haven't done it, it's primitive, absolutely primitive. But the paranoia, the paranoia is of the parents. Because when you're taking the blood pressure, and when you're taking the heart rate, and when you're taking the temperature, and if they're slightly out, you think, ah, oh, what are we going to do? What we would have loved to have had is a doctor in the house, 24 hours a day, monitoring. Well, he is that doctor. He is that doctor. Why he got renal, renal failure? He got it through a genetic predisposition. He is your DNA chip. In the future, we'll be able to get an on-the-spot measurement for these genetic diseases. So I think Marcus's life has been a real inspiration for the way we've developed this technology. And I think that, that it takes a personal motivation to really drive somebody to make these sorts of things. So thank Chris, you we're going to see a lot more from you and your team. Thank you very, very yeah. much.